two and a half miles north of Fort Pierce Inlet and one quarter mile offshore lies the remains of the 1715 Spanish merchant cargo vessel Urca de Lima. In 1987, the Florida Bureau of Archaeological Research established the first state underwater archaeological preserve at this site. This bronze plaque was placed on site to designate the location. As we swim away from the plaque, you can see the diversity of marine plants that surrounds the area. Over the years, the wooden remains of Urca de Lima have been covered by sand and shell, leaving only a small portion of the vessel exposed. This natural burial helps preserve the wooden remains for future generations to enjoy. As we follow along with the swaying plant life, we come upon more exposed wood. Here we can see the wood is badly eroded, but beneath the biological covering are hidden elements of ship construction, such as this fastener seen here. In the late 1920s and again in the 1960s, cannons were recovered from the Spanish merchant vessel Urca de Lima. As we head south across the Swain seagrass, we find ourselves swimming over concrete replica cannons, which were cast from the mold of an authentic iron cannon recovered from the Spanish vessel San Jose, which wrecked off the Florida Keys in 1733. These concrete cannons are virtually indistinguishable from iron guns which rested on the sea bottom for hundreds of years. As we can see, they are covered with algae and marine growth rendering them difficult to find amongst the marine plants. A few of the cannons are also partially buried in the sand due to the dynamic environment along the eastern coast. This is the most exposed of the five cannons. Here we can see all of the elements that make up a cannon. The knob on the end, known as the cascable. The arms of the cannon, known as the trunnions and the open end of the cannon, known as the muzzle. This is an authentic colonial period anchor from the 1715 fleet that was placed on site after salvers were caught illegally removing it just north of Urca de Lima. The anchor was then placed back in the water where it rests today. It is not known if the anchor originally belonged to this shipwreck or one of its sister ships. As you can see, this is a substantial anchor with a large ring and would have had a substantial wooden stock.